Hello, my name is Jupiter Hadley, and today we're doing another version of GP Plays All the Games, this time with the One Bit Clicker Jam. The One Bit Clicker Jam challenged developers to create a clicker game, or an idle game, or an incremental game using one bit only, the mouse as input, and eight bit chiptune sounds. I've been playing all of the games that were entered the jam for about a minute each. Links to individual games will be in the description, so you can check them out further, and all my info will also be in the description, so you can check me out as well. Thank you very much for watching and liking and commenting. At the end, I'll probably have an article of my favorite, so keep a lookout for that. Next, we're playing Stenix, which you can play single player or multiplayer. I'm playing local multiplayer with Lewis. Hello. Oh, all right, three. Let me click here, three. All right, so this is my button, that's your button. How do we, okay, we start by putting this here. I don't know, press one to restart the game, press two to go back to testing. Let's like, let's read, let's read. One mouse, one player takes left, one mouse, one player takes the right, and this time the left to the right, the player has its own score. I don't know what that means. Try to keep the ball in the game within the left mouse button, you control the left square, right, you control the right square, you can control both squares by clicking on them, blah, blah, blah. Alright, so I think, I don't want that one, I think, like, I hit it, see how your player hits it? Yeah. Ooh, that was a good shot. Ooh, you didn't hit it. You kind of missed it. Well, that's interesting. I thought this was going to be more like Pong based on its screenshots. But no. There you go. You're not if clicking. If I don't hit it, it doesn't... It doesn't bounce off of you. That makes sense here. I'm going to... Oh, oh you did too I hit high. Do high. See, look, it, that's just me serving, so that's why it's just in front of me. But if I don't hit it, it goes by me. It's like, yeah. It's very interesting. Very simple game. Next. We're playing Mimi, or Meme. Man goes to town. Click on all the boxes. Left mouse button, right mouse button. Too easy. Want to impress the girls? Sure. Super Mimi mode includes... Mimi man mode includes M, middle mouse button. Scroll up, scroll down. All right, let's do normal mode. Oh. What? Oh. What? Am I supposed to click on it? Yeah, I'm supposed to click on it. I was just clicking uh, clicking the button. Ah, I clicked the wrong one. I also clicked the wrong one. It's a pretty simple game. Focusing. Ah, darn it. Let's try this super mode. Oh, is this M? Yeah. Yep. I don't know if I can. I don't know if I can impress anyone. Oh, no. <laughs> Next. We're playing click underscore me. I've just clicked on that. Now it's on black again. This was a click I made in just 30 minutes for this gem. So that's really impressive. Although currently it's mainly just black. Um, so I'm not sure. I'm not sure if it's meant to be. Oh, I don't know the light. So if you click, it just does this. That's interesting. You have to click on the light for it to change to new light. It looks like it's spelling click me. I mean, I am clicking you, so it's okay. Huh. That's pretty interesting. Oh. Next. We're playing Rogue Turret. So we're controlling our turret's ability to shoot stuff. But it does wobble a bit. I guess that's why it's a wobbly force. Shameful. I'm shooting too many times and missing. Game over. Alright, let's try this again. Okay. Am I 
not supposed to hit some of these. Yeah, but I don't think I'm supposed to hit those ones. What? I'm getting confused on who I'm supposed to hit. So I have to hit that. This is murder. And it's fine. Yeah, here I got 150 taken away. Am I only supposed to... I think I'm not supposed to kill the ones with like bits of white on them. Yep, like that one that I just killed. I think I figured it out. There you go. So you guys are still alive. Good. Guys, stop crossing each other. Yeah, it's just gonna have to happen. <laughs> I'm not very good at this game, can you tell? You have a very wobbly force. Ah, game over. Next. We're playing Food Clicker Frenzy. Alright, so we click on the food that shoots out. We've got some apples so far. Oh, maybe a tomato, because we're making a burger. Maybe an apple, though. Who knows? Right, we've upgraded our apple, or our tomato. We're on a quest to get the ultimate burger, and then eat it. Well, there's lots of stuff up there that's not a burger, so I'm guessing these are apples. Grab you. Now we can upgrade this sandwich. Cool. Little food graphics really nice. Oh, I could have done the chomper teeth, but I didn't. What a shame. Let's save up and get the chomper teeth. Chomper teeth. Should I click on you? No. Are you just going to chop things that collide with you? I bet you do. I bet you give me the points of stuff that collide with you. That makes sense. I want to watch little teeth eat something. There we go. It did it. Hmm. Cool. Next. We're playing line drag. Alright. You win. Okay. So we're dragging the circle to the end without hitting the wall. So like hitting the wall restarts you. And how many levels Ooh, can we get through in a minute? We used to play these um, types of games when I was younger. They were like the impossibly hard game or whatever. And it had a bit of this. So it was all about like keeping your mouse Steady. Ah, oh, right at the end. Alright. Well, it's a very challenging little game. Nope. I'm going too fast. I was never very good at this. My brother used to always do them way better than me. And he used to say, you just need to slow down. But I never wanted to. I have to beat this level. Bam, you win. Now it's even smaller. Next. We're playing your new best friend. You seem like a nice person. Let's thank them. Oh. It's not letting me do anything. My well, friendship kind of died down when I looked around to see if this was something that I needed to click on. So I guess I'm going to refresh the page. I just don't know how to pick the options. This is a browser-based game. Oh, I'm in Unity. So you seem like a nice person. Clicking thank you doesn't do... Oh, wait, we got to click it a lot. Okay, I'm clicking thank, compliment, agree. Let's agree. Yes, I am a nice person. 
Thank you. You seem like a nice person. Compliment. Compliment doesn't seem to do well. Maybe I agree. Wow, it's not working anymore. Wow, thanking them didn't work either. I'm not talking to you. It doesn't look like I'm good at actually making friends. Very interesting concept, though. Next. We're playing Star Bits. Click to play. Oh, I totally didn't read the instructions. I just went, oh, click to play. Oh, so we're kind of flying around. Okay. I think the closer you get to a star, the more points you get. So we have to get near them but not touch them. The graphics in this are really lovely. How am I not gaining more points? There we go. Got a lot of points for that because we kind of followed it around. Very nice little space game. Aw, oh, darn it. <laughs> Next. We're playing Zombie Clicker. I'm hungry for food. Alright, so we've got this sort of mouse. What am I supposed to click on? I'm not sure what we're meant to click on. Growth 8. Click on him, we click on him. We click on the zombie face. And that makes our growth increase. So I guess we're feeding him. He looks like a severed zombie head. Our pet's a zombie head. <laughs> That's kind of funny. It's definitely a clicker. If we go past uh, 999, I feel like one of our digits will be in black air and we won't be able to see what it is, which is kind of funny. Yeah. Get to click on your little pet zombie head who's hungry. Next. We're playing Pong Automata. The year is 1972 and you've just begun coding the ultimate game to make and break the market. This is Pong Automata. Alright, pawn cabinet paddle. So, insert quarter. We have to insert quarters. Then we can get a pawn cabinet. So, the quarters are going up? Yeah, the quarters are going up. Okay. Our quarters will go up a lot. We need to get paddles. But that's okay. There's a lot of quarters. I mean, we're also making quarters for whatever reason, so we're making money. Then we get a paddle. Another paddle. To actually make a game. A game requires paddles. Second paddle. Yeah. Alright. Pong cabinet. Nine. Nine. Let's get a tenth one. There we go. Read the ball. Read the ball. For Pong, you need a ball. Man, this ball is probably really expensive then. I thought maybe it'd be 300, but now it's looking like 5 would be my guess. We're nearly there. Now it's even more than that. I'm just gonna buy these. This cabinet's a failure. <laughs> it's got no actual game. Is it a thousand? Yeah, ball. Oh, it doesn't actually move or anything yet. Pub. We bought a pub. Pub. Okay. Interesting. Next. 